Right guys, here we are. I am going to make you a TARDIS square. I did contact the BBC to check out copyright and they said as long as it's not for commercial uses, I can show you how I make this. So my artwork here is for free. It is, um, I think on Ravelry, I will have it posted. I'm going to try to time the release of the video with the release of the pattern so that you guys can have both at the same time. I don't have those colors anymore, so we're going to use these colors here. Blue and white still. That one's like blue and silver, I guess. Just some random stuff I had in my house. So I do have a tutorial on these little windows. If you wanted to do the chainless foundation or the regular foundation, whatever you prefer. I thought you didn't really need to watch me do that for five minutes. So I made a bunch of windows already. And I'm going to keep going to get to my 20 windows. I do recommend that you get the pattern on Ravelry and follow along with that plus the video. Uh, there is just a few extra things in the pattern that I can't include in the video, like the key is just too much. So uh, do both. They're both free, so just do both. I think that's 20. I've got to count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so I got my twenty windows. I'm gonna put my fancy little thing here. I think I got these off a pair of jeans that I bought once. That was how the tag was attached. It's kind of funny, hey? I also chained my forty-one plus one or two, depending on how tight you chain. And I am going to put it, you can see that this is facing the right direction here. Tail is up. I'm going to take your little tail, bring it through here. We want it to come straight across like that. Now when I count backwards here, I'm going to, I chained 41 plus 2 actually this time. So I'm going to count to 7. I'm going to count these little bumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the bump that I will want to use. It is hard to count when you have half of the string in and half of it out. So I just stretch it out. That way when I get there, I know which one I'm going to use. And go through the window and grab that part that you have stretched out. Make sure you're on the back of your work. Do your yarn over. And your stitch, chain one. There's always one chain space between each double crochet. Now we're going to skip one and go into here. Bring it to the back of your work before you yarn over. And finish your double crochet. US terminology, of course, you figured that out by now. And we're going to go all the way, oops, I lost it, there we go. We're going to go all the way across. Skip one into the next one. So quiet in my house. Daddy took the kids for a walk, so I thought, I'm going to do a video. And our, in my Facebook group, I asked people what they prefer. And it seems like most people would prefer less chitty chat, more pattern. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, this part to me is a bit mindless, so I'm, I'm a little bit chit-chatting. But once we get to... The actual pattern, I'm going to stop the chit chatty, I'm going to focus on making the pattern, and I'm probably going to move relatively fast because you can change the speed of the YouTube video. YouTube has a little uh, option, and you can slow it down if you want to. You can stop it, you can rewind it, you can rewatch it. So I am not going to slow myself down for you you can slow down the video. That is the plan. And my yarn is already tangled. Hmm. 
that it's silliness. Now remember, if you're doing a different interlocking crochet pattern, they might start their foundation chains differently. These two foundation rows, the way I do it with the long line across the bottom, it is not a guarantee that that is how interlocking crochet starts. So pay attention to your pattern. I have seen some that don't lock at all until you get up farther into the design. And then afterwards you have to put a border on it so that you don't have flippy floppy edges. And I've seen weaving in and out, in and out, in and out. Mine just goes across because that's the way I like it and I'm the designer. So ta-da, I can do what I want. <laughs> We're almost to the end. This is probably my least favorite part of these patterns because it's like the same every time. You just start with these, lock them together, and then I look at the pattern to see what I'm doing. But for this part, I don't need to look at anything. I just go in and out, in and out. There we go. That's our foundation rows. We're going to switch our stitch marker. I'm not really a fan of this one, but I couldn't find other ones. That's how organized our house is. We're renovating and everything is crazy. You know, three kids is crazy anyways. So probably should speak up. I don't know. Maybe you can't even hear me on the video. But we are now on row four. The pattern says wrong side, ACB, accent color to the back. So this is our wrong side when it has all these dashes. This is the tail and the working string. You need to make sure it stays in the back behind this pole. Just three chains, four chains, standing double crochet, whatever it is that you do. I put three chains in my patterns, but you can change it to be what you like. And our pattern starts with, I have it up on my computer here. We're going to do back, front, back. That's how I think of it in my head. I can hold a few stitches at a time. And don't forget to chain one between each of your double crochets. If this is looking really chaotic to you, you might need to go back to one of my shorter videos that has a tutorial on the stitches itself. 10 front. I go in here, bring it to the front, yarn over. I think of myself as a relatively fast crocheter, but um, I have seen faster. So that's kind of, I hope I'm not going too fast for the video, but like I said, you can slow it down. And I, I just want to blaze through this so that I can get the video up. And that's why I'm doing it fast. If you want to go back, you can count them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is our tenth in the front. Back front. Two back. Front, back, oops, can't change that one. Front, back. Make sure you're going into the stitch. And then for the end stitch, we just go right into that window, the whole square. Ta da! Okay, guys, we are on row five. We're using our accent color. For me, it's white. We're chaining three in the back. We don't really have a choice. It's already locked in there. So if that's wrong, we gotta frog it. 3B. One space chain. 
to chain and three nine F children making this little bit of noise. They don't want to nap today, but we are still having quiet time. It's just not necessarily as quiet as it could be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, six, back, one, two, three, Four, five, six, try that again, we'll get it in there, and in the back, so we're going to go through this last window, grab our window, Pull it through the back of the window. There we go. So that you get kind of that, right? So this is now using our main color. The, the right side is facing us. You can see we got the bottom of the TARDIS started. And I got string everywhere. Accent color to the front, so we're going to leave these tails up in the front here. Chain three, two F. Going blue, always stitched into blue. One chain, two chain, one back. Make sure that the white gets out of the way. Going into that blue, two front, Just pick it, but bring it all to the front. Oops, I missed a little string there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two front, one back, two front, one back, one front. Eight back, eight one, eight two. Oh, my string can part again, that's okay. Eight three, eight four, eight five, eight six. Seven, eight, eight. My numbers match, so I know I'm done. My brain is weird. Four in the front. Four, one. Four, two. Four, three. Four, four. And because it's our main color, it always says just end stitch. It's not on the front or the back, it's just on the end. A little fuzzy there. Ta-da! Now we do have only two colors to get tangled, so we try to keep them neat. So 
We are now on row seven. We're using the accent color, chain three in the front, 6F, 6F, Front nine in the back. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and then it says three in the front. One, two. Three and in the front. Okay, now we are at row eight. Chain three, it's just the outside edge, it says accent color stays on the back. Oops, I only need one yarn over. There we go for the back. Three front. Oops, I can slip in here. I am curious to know how many of you will make this and not look at the pattern at all. And how many of you will say, oh, that's cool, she has a YouTube video and they don't even bother looking. Because personally, if I went and bought this pattern or for free, I would just download it. I was don't pay. I probably wouldn't look at the video. I'd be like, I know how to read the pattern, I'm done. So I am a little curious, you should let me know. All right, so we are on using our main color. Uh, I think I showed it in a different video when I count my rows. It's my main color rows two, four, six, eight. So this top line is now eight. That just helps me know where I am. One in the back, three in the front, one in the back, six in the front. But I'm gonna just make sure you're going under both loops of that stitch, the little V. Four, five, and six. One back, one front. One back, four front, one back. And end stitch. I'm not sure if you can hear my little baby. 
She didn't want to nap, but she doesn't really want to play. She's kind of making noises. Sometimes they're cute. Sometimes they're less than cute. Five. Five, two. Five, three. My yarn ball is on the floor. I have to rescue it from the baby. All right, let's get back to it. I did five in the back, two in the front. Then one in the back, and two in the front again. Three in the back. Four in the front. Sorry, that's my dishwasher being a little bit noisy. One, two. Three, four, maybe, there we go, four, one back, and in the back. There we go. So, <clears throat> that is the first nine rows.